Hello, I'm Fritz Horseman from the Albers Foundation. In this video, we're going to make drawings using salt on black paper. Joseph Albers would have his students experiment with this sort of drawing also. Look at this photograph of one of his students' projects. How do you think it was made? What materials and what process? Albers would do this with sand. I'm using salt because it's easier to find where I live, and if I'm careful, I'll be able to scoop it up at the end and put it back into its canister so I can use it later. You could also use sand or maybe sugar, whatever is easiest for you. Salt, sand, and sugar are made up of lots of small grains. That will make for unique possibilities and also limitations on how and what we can draw. We'll also need a piece of dark paper. I'm using black. Putting the white grains of salt onto the black paper will create a high contrast between the white and the black, which will make the drawing easy to see. I also have a larger piece of paper underneath the black paper, which will catch any stray grains of sand or salt that escape my paper. If you decide that you're really going to make a mess, uh, you might put everything into a baking dish that will catch all the extra grains of salt while you're working. For drawing tools, I have gathered a few things. You may find other things around your home which could be interesting to try. I have a butter knife, a fork, a screwdriver, a dry paintbrush, a spatula, and of course my canister of salt. If you have one handy, I suggest you use a camera to take photographs while we're working. When we're finished, the salt will be gathered up and put away, so the record will only be in our memory or in the photographs that are taken. Okay, let's get started. To begin the drawing, the first thing we need to do is pour some salt from the canister right into the middle of our paper. Now we don't want to put too much out there, but you know, have enough to work with. So we can always bring out more. And interesting already how we see the salt is spreading out. So it's, there's just a few grains that made it out here, but of course most of them are still in the middle. There were a few chunks that came out still uh, stuck together. So all these different properties of salt that we're already starting to see. And just as a record, I'm going to take a photograph of this so we remember how it looked at the beginning. Even though we've got all these tools and you may have other tools that you've gathered, our most important tools are our fingers. I am going to just try some things out with my fingers. What happens if I just make one pull? Already, I've started to see some of the possibilities of what it will mean when I draw with the salt. Well, I like this already. I'm going to take another photograph. You can stop at any point and take the photograph or start again. Um, if you decide you don't really like what you've done, no problem. You sort of gather it up and put it back in the middle. Or you could use something like your butter knife to spread it out. And as I'm doing this, I see all these different patterns that are showing up, if I press harder, it looks different than if I press really lightly. I can make swoops. And so now I've sort of spread it out and I could then draw into this again with my finger if I want, but maybe I'll try a different tool. What about my fork? Try some more with the fork. So you can see it changes. If I pull it straight, I can see all four lines from the tines of the fork. 
Sort of looks like music, doesn't it? But if I go this way, you can only see one line because all of the times have lined up, right? And so I can sort of change that. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Using the fork to go back and forth like that, I made a sort of a weaving using salt. What about the paintbrush? It's dry, so it won't get the salt wet. Of course, if I got the salt wet, it would change. these nice patterns showing up as I play with that, with the edge of the knife. I'm going to go through a few of my tools very quickly and I'll speed the video up so that you can see the ideas as they develop. I'll be taking photographs throughout so that later I'll be able to remember the ideas that I had while I was working with this material. I like the way the different tools come together and we've we've used lots of them to make all these different marks and different shapes and I think they've been really exciting to see um, and there's so many possibilities. Now I'm going to see if I can make a landscape using some of these tools. I've decided it is in fact the ocean, so I put a little sailboat in there. Look at this incredible range of marks and drawings that we were able to make using just salt, black paper, a few simple tools on our hands. Now it's your turn. See what you can do. Gather the materials that you need and experiment. Have fun. 
take photos while you're working. If you make something that you are happy with and you'd like to share, please do. We would love to see it. When you're all finished, you may want to put your salt directly into your baking dish so you can keep your drawing around for a little while or keep working on it. If you're ready to put it away, I have found this funnel, which will help to get the salt back into the canister easily. Thanks for watching.